now it's 40 years ago, that a group of lads from Yorkshire released their first album. They went on to have eight top 40 albums in the 1980s and chart success across Europe, Japan and America. And you might just have heard of them. They were called Saxon and were founded in Barnsley. Here's a taste of their special brand of heavy rock. Two gold discs in the studio now because the strong arm of the law, a 1980 album, went, went uh, silver. And Stephen Graham from Saxon are with us now. It's only taking nearly 40 years to earn a gold disc. How do you feel about that? Brilliant, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't seem like. Is it not before years. time? <laughs> well, you could say that, but it, it doesn't, it's just flown just like that, you know. Um, I'm just looking at the outfits. Do you still rock the uh, skin tight leggings? <laughs> the spandex is out. The spandex. That's the word I'm looking for. Girdles are in. <laughs> Did you ever imagine when you set out on that journey back in the 1980s, you'd still be going strong all these years on? No, I mean, the reason that Lionel doesn't uh, exist anymore, fortunately, unfortunately, we split into two halves. So we go out with Oliver Dawson and Saxon. But we never thought, I mean, me and Steve started playing together in 1969, straight from school, Mexico and Swinton. And uh, all these years later, we, we went to Japan, so we never thought we'd be doing this. And when they re-released this album on uh, um, vinyl, it, the BPI, British Photographic Institute, discovered it had gone gold from silver. So it was a pleasant surprise, and I think it's done a million downloads on it. I'm going to say, you're now attracting a brand new audience, aren't you? I've been watching you on YouTube this afternoon, a gazillion hits, and young people yeah. start talking about discovering you for the first time. It must be amazing to have this rebirth yeah, well, almost. That's right, because the people who saw us in the first time round, they've got children now. And so the dads are playing these records, and the kids are getting into it. So it's like perpetuating the music. And uh, at the end of the day, uh, rock fans tend to be... Yeah more loyal than pop fans. I have to ask you this question. Many of our viewers will be familiar with the mockumentary, the rock mockumentary Spinal Tap. Yeah. Was that a true reflection of rock bands in the 1980s? Well, yeah, Alex Shearer, who is uh, Nigel Tufnell, he came on tour with us for a week and he, we didn't know who he was at the time because we just had a, a video done by um, uh, Ridley Scott. Yeah. And so our manager was in, in with films and he said, this guy wants to come on tour with you for a week. He's doing a, a movie, can he? And so we thought, yeah, we did. Only when we saw the movie, we'd be like, and what, was it based on Saxon? Some of it. He based his character on Steve Dawson. Uh, <laughs> very Smalls were based on me, <laughs> which is sort of a odd accolade, but I'm quite proud of it. You know. Was this the courgette scene you were telling me <laughs> well, about? We all go into that now. Cucumber. Yeah, cucumber. <laughs> let's let's go see that. Yeah. Where can people see you now, guys? When you are playing, can, can, well, can local people see you? Yeah, we're playing. Uh, Next shows, uh, next week we're off to Europe for a while, then we come back, we do two festivals yeah. in England, and then we're off to Japan for a week. Brilliant. Well, it's good to see you guys. We're doing Birdwell Club. Oh, good. Uh, <laughs> Birdwell the venue. Yeah. That's the best Birdwell Club. Yeah, Birdwell Club. Get that okay. in. Guys, many thanks for coming in and congratulations on our show. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks very much. Keep rocking. Now, hospital in.